Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a special video that I put together for a certain Canadian Minecrafter by the name of Mr. Etho. And uh, basically, uh, earlier today he posted a video commenting on uh, where he was working on his particular uh, uh, his storage system and he started to uh, he started to talk about uh, some of the issues he was having with get down there uh, some of the issues he was having with uh, loading uh, a mob sorter uh, with snow golems like so and with this type of a system which was developed by Captain Walnut and who that this design came to my attention via Doc M77, and basically uh, this is uh, just a cool little mob sorting system uh, that uses aggro and uh, villagers, uh, aggro from the snow golems and villagers uh, to uh, attract the zombies. And uh, this is my personal take on it. Uh, this is in my little castle. Um, and yeah, it's uh, as you can see, it works pretty well. All of the mobs get sorted and they drop into these various little uh, channels. Uh, we can go down here. This is the one for the creepers, as you can no doubt see. And as you see, the uh, these channels lead down, and I have kind of a maze going on down here. Um, uh, the uh, the channel for the zombies is below the one for the creepers and oh how do I get out of here ah, it's no good when you get lost in your own designs that does not say that you did a good job okay there we go um, but yeah this was something that I came up with uh, it uses four actually four mob sorters um, simply because I was worried about the system gumming up so I was like you know I'll just use four of them, which is not necessarily the best idea for a server, uh, for a multiplayer arrangement, but oh well. And as you can see here, they just, right now, it, it empties out into uh, these various little killing chambers I have set up, uh, simply to uh, just get rid of the mobs while I'm doing testing. But as you can see from this, uh, this design requires that you have a mob here to act as a target. And as you can see, I've already started wiring this up so that uh, when the mobs are in place, it'll automatically shut a trap door and all of that. But the issue with this, and this is something that Etho highlighted in today's video, um, you can't have skeletons because they will shoot the snow golems dead. Uh, so yeah, that's a problem. Oh, by the way, this is my little wheat farm that does not need glass right there. Kind of a cool little design. Um, circular, uh, like the rest of the building. It was something I hadn't seen other people do, so I decided, hey, you know, I'll try it. But, um, uh, not to get too sidetracked, but, yeah, you know, I enjoy showing off. Uh, boom. And you can see all the water feeds it down into these channels here. For some reason, those blocks are missing? I don't know. Are those blocks supposed to be there? I don't think they are. Okay. It's been a while since I worked on this. I've been kind of busy with other things recently, so I haven't had as much time. But you can see here, I've been messing around with different ways to get the uh, zombies sorted out into um, these little channels so that I can load up the mob sorting system. Uh, you know, and then it'll actually go and take the... Um, uh, get the snow golems to fire at them and uh, get them to uh, draw aggro. Well, let me turn that back on and give me a second. I'm going to go over and head over to my work area because I kind of want to show you what I've been working on because I thought it might be something that even Mr. Etho, the talented Mr. Etho, might find somewhat interesting. So I'll be right back in a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back again. And as you can see, this is my little testing area that I have set up. Uh, this is the stuff from my uh, digital display. 
And here's what I've been working on for this uh, mob sorter. I basically took Etho's basic design. I even etho it a bit using the pumpkins uh, for lighting. And I've been trying to get it so that I could at least sort out the zombies so I could use them as targets. I don't really care so much about the creepers being there, but I definitely don't want the skeletons. So to test this out, I've been using dispensers full of eggs uh, for spawning the mobs. And overall, it works pretty well. It has about, I don't know, I guess about a 95% uh, accuracy rate, it seems. 90, 95, somewhere in that area. I've run about... I have 500 eggs through it total. Um, I'll turn it on for now and kind of show you how it works. It's a very simple system. Mobs drop down. I tried to get it so that the uh, the uh, dispenser rate was pretty close to what you would might expect out of a actual uh, mob spawner. Oh, I probably want to close this off so we can actually see what we're getting. Alrighty. And uh, we're using water here to just push them forward. And then these uh, side channels just allow the zombies, because they have uh, already acquired aggro on the uh, villagers on the sides here. And uh, they are going to try to make their way over there. Now, overall, this system, like I said, works pretty well. Uh, there's not a lot of issues with it as far as um, it getting overwhelmed. The problems that I've been having usually involve... Um, uh, mobs colliding as you can see right there see that zombie got stuck right there it pushes that stupid skeleton into this place and now this zombie is going to try to make its way back and thankfully the skeleton made its way out but a lot of times what happens is the skeleton gets caught between the zombie and the holding area and it actually gets pushed into there where I don't want it um, this, these little corners here are really the, the problem areas. As you can see, I've tried to make them wide enough where the zombies can get by without pr pushing those, uh, skeletons in, but it's still an issue. Uh, I think overall, like, if I were to redo this design, which I probably will end up doing it, and I may post another video about it if I come up with something that's a good bit better, uh, but I'll make, I was thinking I might make this three wide, that way there can be a water channel on either side that will prevent the uh, the zombie the skeletons from getting into these areas so quickly. Because see, like, that one wasn't even pushed, and it just, for some god-awful reason, just was like, hey, they're having a zombie party over there. I want to join. And uh, we don't want the skeletons in the zombie party. But it is overall pretty accurate. As you can see down here, we've got a lot of zombies. Uh, looks like about 50, maybe 10, 12. And then we've got only one skeleton. So, like I said, about a 90% uh, efficiency rate seems to be about no on the norm. I actually had done a time-lapse video for this, uh, showing all of them falling through. I ran about 200 eggs through, but then, of course, Fraps decided to uh, not record for me. So, uh, that was an issue. So, you're just going to have to take my word for it as far as the accuracy. But, as you can see, the zombies do a pretty good job of making their way through. And I think if you were to use this type of system, you could probably pick out the skeletons with a bow or something like that and not have them in the way too much. Uh, it really depends on the spawn rates that you're getting, uh, how effective it is. This is... Uh, I'm running four different dispensers right now. They're kind of timed at ran uh, intervals that will... Uh, they're not random, but uh, basically the timing isn't going to be the same because they're not synced up, uh, essentially. So, yeah. You can see here we've got... We're continuing to collect the zombies. Uh, I think we still only have one skeleton in there, which is pretty good. Um, so, yeah. This is the design that I came up with. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I wanted to go ahead and post it because uh, I know Etho was looking for some solutions, and I know he did something similar to this when he was trying to get a uh, different type of mob sorter that did not require the snow golems. But in the event that he wanted to try this type of system, I thought I'd go ahead and post it. Not that he particularly needs my help, but, you know, I always like to uh, help if I can. Plus, who doesn't love Etho? Honestly. Especially the way he says lava. But anyways. Uh, the uh, 
this is all I really have to show today. I just want to make a quick vid because uh, I've done this this afternoon after seeing his video because I just want to try out my own little method and see how it worked. And as I think we can see, it works pretty decently. Um, I really wish you could, we could get rid of those skeletons. Uh, we now have two of them in there, but can't be perfect, unfortunately. And that's a very rewarding feeling. So once again, this is Andrew and Price, also known as Altered's Ego, saying good night and good gaming.